Friday night, and we got seven games for you on tap. It's the busiest day in the cave before the November break. You're watching the LKHL Update. First game of the night is another Sibirsk. Sibir hosts Amor. Early in the opening frame, Amor get on the board. Alekali sees some room to work with in front of him, skates there, takes a shot, and scores the third of the season. 1-0 Amor. A little later, Sibir on a power play. The puck bounces to Vitala Menshikov in the slot. Must score, but he doesn't. Vitala Atashov puts his stick on the puck, and Menshikov misses a wide open net. Wow. Let's skip ahead to the third, and Sibir finally tie it up. David Ulstrom scores on a rebound after Maxim Mignatov's shot. Tie game 1 1. And just over a minute later, Ulstrom scores on a rebound again. Ulstrom that's an identical goal for his second of the night and 11th of the season. And that's all they're gonna need tonight. 2 1 Sibir is your final. Sure, Pavets now, where Alexander Yermenko hits the ice for the first time since August as Dino Moscow visits Seversal. First period, Anatoly Nikonsev must score on a rebound, but he's denied by Konstantin Gorobikov. Gorobikov fishes the puck out from midair for probably the best save of the year. Wouldn't you agree? How did he do that? Seversal still gets on the board late on the first, though. Dmitry Kogorliski finds the back of the net for the ninth time this year. 1 0 home team. Let's keep ahead to the third now, and Severstal improved their lead to 2 0. Rookie Daniil Vovchenko sends it in on a broken play for his second of the year. Shoot left to that, Severstal get a man advantage and they convert. And it's Vovchenko again. He gets the puck on top of the left circle and wrists it in for his second of the night. 3 0 Severstal now. Dynamo don't see it on Salt though. A few minutes later, Denis Boransov sends it in from the point to make it 3 1. And just two minutes later, it's Denis Kokarev who slams it in from the high slot. Another power play marker, and Dynamo are down by just one now. Severstal still go on to win it as Igor Skorohodov scores an empty netter. With this win, Severstal on their two game losing streak. 4 2, Severstal is your final. We're in Minsk, Belarus now, where Red Hot Salavati Live visit Dynamo. Three minutes into the game, Sergei Soin feeds Denis Glistov on the far post, and he nuts his fifth of the year to put Salavat in the lead. 1 0. Late in the period, Salavat on a power play. Igor Grigorenko feeds Simon Lapista in the slot. Jeff Glass stops him, but Andres Anka still scores on a rebound. 2 0 Salavat now. Early in the second, Dynamo get a goal back. Matt Allison puts the puck on net, and it goes in off Zahora's a must of skate. Lucky bounce for Matt Allison, who gets his 13th of the season to make it 2 1. Late in the period, Salavat restored the two goal margin. Linus Umark has his 10th of the year, and Salavat lead 3 1 headed into the final frame. After through the third, Umark scores again. Captain Igor Gugurenko makes a marvelous pass to Umark in the slot, and he nets his second of the night and 11th of the year. 4 1 Salavat now. And here's a little cherry on top. Mitri Makarov scores a short in late in regulation to set the final score at 5 1 Salavati Live. They win their eighth game out of the last nine. We're in Nizhny Novgorod now, where Torpedo House Metal of Magnitogors. Late in the opening frame, Magnit could get on the board. Denis Platonov throws it in the slot, and Evgeny Timken nets it. 1 0. Less than a minute left in regulation, and Torpedo get it back. Kaspers Dalgamich with a touchdown. Dalgamich scores his fourth to make it a tie game. Second period, Torpedo has just been a penalty. Sergey Mazakin gets the puck on the far post and sends it upstairs. Mazakin scores his 19th goal of the season, and that's goal number 400 for Mazakin in his professional career. Magnit can only 2-1. Early in the third, Oscar Salas trips Alexander Butkin off the puck, feeds Thomas Philippi, and he quickly sends it in. Crucial turnover by Butkin, and Magnit can only 3-1. Just over a minute later, though, Torpedo making a one-goal game again. Alexis Sopin makes a slap pass to Dmitry Simon on the far post, and he nets it. Great goal by Torpedo in 3-2. Not gonna escalate to anything, though. 
Jan Kovrš wins a face of ladder regulation, Chris Lee takes a quick shot and it slides into the empty net. Magnitka takes this one 4-2 and Sergei Mazakin celebrates another milestone. This is Zagreb, Croatia and tonight Medvedchuk hosts Lada. Early in the first, Lada on a power play and they convert. Mitchell Vorobyov hammers it from the point and that goes in. one nothing Lada. Moving on to the second and Lada build on that lead and again they score on a power play. Yefim Gurkin takes a shot from the point and Martin Zatovic nets it on a rebound. Well, not exactly. Gaspar Krushel tried to cover it up but the puck went under his glove. Unlucky. 2 nothing Lada now. Andres Yemtin gets the puck from Patrick Bjorkstrand and sends it in from the face-up dog. 2-1 now. Exactly two minutes later, Lada get a two-man advantage and they score another power play goal. Georgi Belausov sets up Anton Krasana for a shot of the hash marks and he nets his fifth of the season. 3-1 after 40. Later regulation, Lada secures the win as Anton Shelfit scores on an empty net. And they take this one 4-1. Lada win their fifth consecutive game, but they still have the second worst record in the East. In Bratislava, Slovakia, Slovan face Ogbars tonight. Not a whole lot of scoring in this one. Vladimir Kachov opened up the scoring 50 minutes into the first. And what a beaut that was. Kachov puts on a real show for his fifth of the year. You can tell all your friends about this goal. one nothing Ogbars. Slovan tied up halfway through the second. Cam Borkin has his sixth of the season with a bullet from the point. He beats Emil Garip on glove side and sends this one to a shootout. Jigo Jaglic shoots first for Slovan and he scores in the way he always does. Jaglic with his signature move and Slovan take the lead. Vladimir Kachov shoots next for Akbars and it makes it look so easy again. Kachov with another beauty and it's 1-1 in the shootout. Emil Garipov stops Lukas Korsberg and Cam Barker. Oscar Merle misses for Akbars and the game is on Fedor Malikin's stick and he does not disappoint in Akbars. He shows patience and scores the winner. Akbars take two points on the road as they win this one 2-1 in a shootout. And just one more score to tell you about. Arboro beat Kuznia 4-3 in a shootout as well. Alexander Gorshkov tied the game up early in the third and that scores the winner in the shootout. And that's it for the LKHL update. Come back tomorrow for the only game of the night between Jokurit and Dynamo Riga. Should be a good one. My name is Andreas Sachinka. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you Saturday.